What's going on guys, Eternal Wind back with another Ghost of Tsushima video and today we are going to cover the Samurai build that was voted by you guys in my community poll. I really want to take this time to go ahead and thank all of you for coming out and participating in the poll and for supporting me enough to even be able to do community posts. So I just wanted to thank you for all of your support and let's just keep it going all right so for this particular build this is going to be a raw damage samurai build we're going full damage on practically everything this is a masamune's edge samurai build and let's get right into it so if you didn't know masamune's edge melee attacks have a 20 percent chance to deal double damage so this works with your regular physical attacks as well as your ultimate. Um, this is going to allow you to do the most physical DPS that you can do in the game with this character. And we're going to sprinkle in damage uh, with pretty much every single piece of gear to just further increase its offensive capabilities. So for the Masamune's Edge, we have melee and only damage. The reason I didn't go ultimate damage where Oni damage is, is because Oni damage is damage against Onis in every way possible. So this is going to be ghost weapon damage, assassinations, uh, melee, ultimate, ranged, uh, fire damage, all of that. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and get at least one stack uh, because I can't get uh, melee and ultimate on the charm. Or not ultimate, I'm sorry, melee and Oni on the charm. So we went ahead and got it here. And then we got Way of the Flame. So this is going to utilize Raging Flame as the class ability. Anytime that is on cooldown, you want to be popping Way of the Flame. The, the cooldown for Way of the Flame is a very, is a very long. So you're going to be able to use this frequently. And it's going to skyrocket your damage. What makes this build so amazing after patch 2.18 is the fact that we get Stance Mastery with legendary weapons so now throwing moon stance on there we can actually moon master cancel with the masamune's edge which deals an incredible amount of damage um, if you don't like moon master cancel or you just are unable to do it you can use water stance but moon master cancel is going to give you the most physical dps in the game which is why we're running that um, ranged weapon really doesn't matter that much, but we do have uh, the ability to reload cancel with reload speed in case we ever need to with ranged damage. And then I just wanted to ensure that anytime I pulled it out, I could get a headshot. So we're running helmet piercing ammo. Um, as for the charm, uh, we're running melee and ultimate damage with fire master and blessed strikes. Fire master is going to increase the amount of damage that our raging flame does, as well as fired up from our caltrops and our fire arrows from the longbow. And then Bless Strikes is just going to give you the ability to heal. There's, there's an amazing feeling when you're literally one hit from death and you pop ultimate and then you, you activate your class ability and your full life while decimating everything you hit. Um, and Fire Master with Moon Master Cancel and Raging Flame is going to surprise you with the amount of damage that you're, you're going to be able to do with this. And then we further increase our melee damage by utilizing a kunai with melee damage and ghost weapon damage, always running super massive and hidden blades. Um, and then we further increase our ghost weapon damage again with caltrops. And then we added status effect duration for our fired up from the caltrops, uh, as well as the fire damage that you're going to get from fire arrows and raging flame. And then we round it off with deep bags to just inflict as many people as possible with that fired up status effect. So again, full on damage. We've got melee, ultimate, ranged, melee, oni. <laughs> I keep saying ultimate <laughs> on the sword. Clearly I'm used to doing that. And then melee, ghost, and ghost. So yeah, it's a lot of damage um, all across the board. And you're going to be able to do 50% increased Ghost weapon damage against Oni with this build, which is really good for a samurai. It's like having that perk, but obviously we got to take up stats uh, to get it from the from the Ronin. All right, techniques. We are running Raging Flame. It's the the <laughs> easily the best move that the or the best class ability that the samurai has. 
and we're going to further increase all that damage with the uh, newly increased uh, melee damage from deep strikes being 25% now rounding the build off with an increased resolve and increasing our ultimate with Hachiman's Frenzy alright let's show off the build what legend would you like to hear Only now the good thing about the this is the fact that we're not utilizing Enzo so we don't have to worry despair. about being full health you can just run in and shit with on everything fire and ash they spread the destruction destroyed that tender they're coming in hot aren't they Oh yeah. I was expecting to parry that night. You know what? Oh yeah. I ain't worried about hitting that, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, you saw the uh Masamune Edge proc on that old tool. It just does ridiculous amounts of damage. And you just run in and you use your ghost weapons when they're when they're off the cooldown. I thought I heard the Tangu over here. Damn. Get that air to flame damage going. I really hate those guys. Only yeah. corruption ceased. Alright, we'll go ahead and pot Raging Flame once we get all these guys over here. Jeez. Here we go. Oh yeah. I mean, just... And we just tanked that hit. Doesn't even matter. He's gonna run because he's a bitch. You pulled the old uh, Iman Kaiman on me. I know you don't know who that is, but he likes to just join in randomly. <laughs> oh. All good, man. I'm just showing off the build. Oh, yeah. range is gross. And the great thing about that is you can... Alright guys, so that's going to be an example of what this build is capable of doing. Appreciate you guys coming out. As you can tell, this build hits like a truck. Uh, you just go ham with everything in your arsenal. Um, Masamune's Edge is going to allow you to do a truckload of damage with both your physical melee attacks and your ultimate. As you can see, Dell over there using Moon Master as well. <laughs> Alright guys, I appreciate you coming out and supporting the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.